Hey Sam, really love what you do with Lee. I didn't know I posted those videos. <laughs> um, could you ask Lee if he'll be coming down to the first Arnold Classic in Australia in March? I was standing right in front of him at FedEx in Melbourne about two years ago and I was too scared to talk to him because of his face tattoos and the dirty look he had on his face. <laughs> Thanks, Eli. The dirty look? Yeah. That's not even Paul Graham walked past me, was it? No, I've been hungry. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that. It wasn't a dirty look, really. I, probably, I don't know what I'm going to do. You should just said hello. So. The face tattoo's not scary, so don't worry about that. No, I won't be going down, so... I got asked to go down, but... No, I'm not going down to the first Arnold Classic in Melbourne, so... Sorry. But you can come to the first Lee Priest Classic in Sydney, March 22nd. And where's that at? Bankstown? Bankstown Sports Club. Now, when you're at these fitness expos, um, and that you're highly <laughs> recognisable, how do you find, um, you know, being up for you know four or five days or whatever when they you know you're sometimes oh. bored as shit because you're standing yeah. around doing nothing normally, like expose you're there if you're not competing you'll be there from like 9 10 in the morning all i am till closing time so you could be an expo from say 10 to 6 p.m at night and like i said i'll be standing there just signing pictures shaking hands smiling you get asked the same questions over and over and then you get some guys that want to hug you and have smelly armpits and rub it on your shoulders so your shirt smells for the rest of the day but that's fun fans are fans you have fun but then I don't like the fans that when you do stand there that all the time you want to go grab a bite to eat they go Ugh. they get all pissed off because you, you, know, you might have stood there for five hours you want to go have a sandwich and then as soon as you go to eat it they're like oh I don't mean to bother you but they do and then they film you eating or you tell them you got to go to the toilet and they give you do you look like oh. <laughs> I've been waiting all this time and you got to go to the toilet. Well, sorry, yes, I do got to go to the toilet every couple of hours. So, so you do other things, you may, you know, just... You don't let them so. come with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been to the ones where you, I always go in the cubicle because people try and take photos over the year and also... Oh, fair go, dinkum. Yeah, so you go in the cubicle and while you're in the cubicle pissing, they'll stand outside and talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> they'll ask you training questions through the door. Yeah, so it still goes on in the toilets. There'll be seminars going on. Or then I've had the guy who'll beat the year and all like, he's taking a piss. I walk in, he goes, oh Lee, and puts his hand out to shake my hand. I'm like, you know, you just been at the urinal there. Maybe if you wash your hand first. <laughs> hey, you didn't piss on him. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they're interesting. It's always fun expose. Never a dull moment, but your feet do get sore standing there all the time. And like I said, normally at expo, the only two meals you get will be breakfast and dinner during the yeah. day. Is all few shakes, maybe a few bars, walking around if you can, but like I said, at the big expos like the Arnold in America, you try and walk to the toilet, it'll take me half an hour because like I said, you stop and take one photo, as soon as you stop, then you get mobbed, so you'll be there taking photos, they say, why do you take your time to go to the toilet, you know, we're going to the toilet, just staying a quick walk, Yeah. <laughs> so you get mobbed the whole way to the toilet, in the toilet, then on the way back, so trying to eat sometimes is pretty hard, but I don't mind, you know, the fans are fans, so you know, they don't get to see you that often, so when they do get to see you, they probably, a lot of them get overexcited and, you know, are not themselves. <laughs> they don't let it get to me, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, just... If it wasn't for the fans, I would still be getting talked about, would I? And I'd be probably like, ah, oh, I wish there wasn't. But I am. So, people, get out to the uh, Bankstown. Yep, Bankstown, Melbourne, March. March 7th in Melbourne, I'll be around places. But I get back on Facebook, because like I said, I've been banned for 30 days from Facebook for posting that video. I'll be back on, then I, I can actually put up where I'll be, but if you go on Instagram to it, Lee A. Priest, or one word, just Lee, letter A, and then Priest on Instagram, you can follow me there, and it has where I'm going to be as well, so. I'll probably use Instagram more than Facebook now, but Facebook I've mainly be on for my show, the thing in March, England, and uh, Dancing with the Stars.